hardwood hammer can cypress trees are susceptible to heavy damage from fire, and some may take decades to grow back. 103. Peat built up over centuries in the marsh can cause fires to burn deep scars in the soil. In 2007, Fred Skler of the South Florida Water Management District said, an extreme drought can be viewed as almost as catastrophic as a volcano. It can reshape the entire landscape. It can take 1,000 years to produce two inches of peat, and you can lose those couple of inches in a week. 132. Rising sea levels caused by global warming are another threat to the future of the park. Since 1932, ocean levels at Key West have steadily risen over 0.7 feet, 0.2 m which could have disastrous consequences for land so close to the ocean. 133. It is estimated that within 500 years freshwater habitats in the Everglades National Park will be obliterated by salt water, leaving only the northernmost portion of the Everglades. Cost estimates for raising or replacing the Tangany Trail and Alligator Alley with bridges are in the hundreds of millions of dollars. 134. Through Trump administration, the Florida Department of Transportation, and Everglades National Park, there are re plans to execute and complete the Next Steps project to help fix these various water issues, along with other parts of park. This completion plan was announced in September 2020, will begin November 2020 and should be delivered the end of 2024. 135 Non-native species A struggle between a Burmese puffin and an alligator The introduction of non-native species into South Florida is a considerable problem for the park. Many of the biological controls such as weather, disease and consumers who naturally limit plants in their native environments do not exist in the Everglades causing many to grow larger and multiply far beyond the average numbers in their native habitats. Approximately 26% of all fish, reptiles, birds, and mammal species in South Florida are exotic more even than in any other part of the U.S. and the region hosts one of the highest numbers of exotic plant species in the world. 136 species that adapt the most aggressively to conditions in the Everglades, by spreading quickly or competing with native species that sometimes are re-threatened or endangered, are called invasive. Thousands of exotic plant species have been observed in South Florida, usually introduced as ornamental landscaping, but park staff must eradicate such invasive plants as Melaleuca tree, Melaleuca quinquinervia, Brazilian pepper, Skinus deerbinthifolius, and Old World Climbing Fern, Ligodium microfilum. 137. Similarly, animals often do not find the predators or natural barriers to reproduction in the Everglades as they do where they originate, thus, they often reproduce more quickly and efficiently. Lobate black scale insects, Paratachard in a pseudolobata kill shrubs and other plants in hardwood hammocks. Bromeliad beetles, Metamysius corlizoa, destroy bromeliads and the ecosystems they host. 138. Walking catfish, Clarias batrachas, can deplete aquaculture stocks and they carry enteric septicemia. 139. The Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission, FWC, listed eight reptiles of concern, including the Burmese python, Python molaris bivitatus, focusing on them for their large sizes and aggressive natures, allowing licensed hunters to kill any listed animals in protected areas and sell their meat and hides. 140, 141. Burmese pythons, two subspecies of African rock pythons, Python sabe, northern and southern, and yellow anacondas, Eunectus notius, were banned from import into the U.S. in 2012. 
United States Secretary of the Interior Ken Sawlazer announced the inclusion of these reptiles at Everglades National Park. 142 exotic species control falls under the management of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service which has been compiling and disseminating information about invasive species since 1994. Control of invasive species costs $500 million per year, but 1,700,000 acres, 2,656.2 square me, 6,879.7 square kilometers, of land in South Florida remains infested. 143, see also List of birds of Everglades National Park List of National Parks of the United States Dry Chagas National Park Environmental Impact of the Big Cypress Swamp Jet Port Nike Missile Site HM69 World Heritage Sites in Danger References Everglades National Park Gut, I have it open. Uh, so I have it open in a web browser. Let's delete it. Delete it from the list. Then. Uh, when my computer crash when my computer crash it uh, not open again now I have it uh, here I have it in uh, web browser <coughs> I will have to, I need a break then I will uh, find something else maybe the American alligators, no American crocodiles. I find something I, I like to read next, but I need a break now and upload this. But I have this uh, credit card debt problem, so I have to lower my debt on my credit cards. So before I do that, I cannot go anywhere. Let's drink uh, some cola. Oh, that would cost me many thousand, ten thousand dollars, maybe five or ten thousand dollars just to travel to Florida and like a few weeks. Many, many thousand of dollars, but maybe you can buy a travel one week, two thousand dollars, including hotel. No, you can maybe buy a vacation one week to Miami or. Oh, more than one week with hotel and airplane. Two thousand dollars. But then you need uh, another two thousand dollars pocket money. So that will uh, easy be uh, five thousand dollars. But now I'll stop the video.